No, 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 no. The guy's trying to sell me like frozen meat out of a cooler and out of his back of his pick, pickup truck. No, 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 no. Anyway, uh, comments to your comments. And boy, are you flooding me with comments. Uh, lots of questions. And I really apologize for not getting back to you with these. But I have been, I have like just been so busy. Oh! Dave? He did it again. See, he knows that when I'm doing this, I'm not actually looking, you know, I'm not going like this, you know. I'm not going, you know, so I don't see the stuff that he puts in the way. I need more suggestions on how to get Dave back. I need some good ones. Somebody suggested that uh, we, before the video, oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, some, some answers to your comments. This is from Baseball Guy 45 says, what is the black line that shows up on the projection? He's talking about, I did a video of the Gobo Zoom LED. Go ahead and can you get a shot of this up there? Don't mind the hole in our ceiling there. Let me move it over. Oh, there's no holes. There we go. And if you'll notice, you'll see a little black. That's my finger you're looking at. You notice a little black line right in here. Well, what that is... There's a spring that holds your gobel in the gobel zoom projector. And a little tiny piece sticks out. Uh, normally, see, I made this gobel myself, which is what's nice about the projector. Normally, you put a black ring on the outside. See the, the image of the disco ball and the party? Well, the ring is on the very edge. So actually, what I was supposed to do is add a little black when I printed that so you wouldn't see that ring. So anyway, that answers that question. And baseball guy 45, that was a very good question. Thank you for that. Polish guy 89, he's always a busy guy with questions. Holy crap! I don't think I can say that. Anyway, are you going to be a blizzard dealer? Blizzard lighting is moving up really quick. Yeah, matter of fact, right here, I'm just now getting in the blizzard stuff. Uh, and you know what? This stuff is great. The reason being, it's brighter than all the other companies. The price is lower, and I'm checking it out to make sure that this stuff holds up. Because I don't want to sell it if it's not going to last. But so far, so good. Blizzard Lighting has got some awesome stuff out there. But like I say, it's it's less expensive than a lot of these other companies. So, yeah, we're going to be checking that out. I'll be doing videos on it as soon as I start getting that stuff in and kicking around the tires, so to speak. All right, Setzer808 says, very nice. What's he talking about? Oh, the Gobo... The Gobel Zoom projector. Uh, gonna have to check one of these out. Well, there you go. Check it out. Okay. Also, I see a Blizzard lighting box. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Blizzard lighting really become a hot item. Real hot. It's also hard to get. Interesting. Okay. This is from Avia Avia Mo A A V A I M O B I L E says. I just bought a Chauvet Min Laser RGX from you. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. Do lasers have a duty cycle? Where you know what? I'm completely out of the Min Laser RGXs, aren't I? Yes, I am. Anyway, I got more coming in next week. Okay. Do lasers have a duty cycle? No, they do not have a duty cycle. You can leave it on all night long. I've never owned a laser before, but after seeing this small device light up your entire backyard, I just had to have it. It is an amazing laser. It's brighter than the American DJ. The Micro Galaxian by American DJ, it's brighter than the American DJ Micro Galaxian. I was so impressed with that laser. I was impressed with this when it first came out. And then when Chauvet came out with their little competition of the RGX, big time impressed. Uh, this is from Mitsubakur. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Uh, matter of fact, whoever this guy is, he won one of my contests. M I Z T A H D A G G E R A H. You try to pronounce that. Yeah, right. Regarding the mushroom, he says, Mike, the mushroom. Yes. Does it get hot to the point where you cannot touch it? And does it have a scent? The lights don't come with free scents. I think what he means is when you first turn it on, sometimes it smells. So, I don't know. Now, and I also don't know what mushroom you're talking about. If you're talking about the old school mushroom, which I don't even have on display anymore. Yeah, it gets really hot. And it does have a duty cycle, like 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. But if you're talking about the LED mushroom by Chauvet, no, 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 no duty cycle at all. You can leave that on all night long. Doesn't smell either. And it's $99 for no scent. 
extra for strawberry scent. Uh, this is from T Man Fifty One. T Man Fifty One, you've been sitting. I, he just he's 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 been busy. All right, let's see. Comment. Oh, he came up with something very interesting here. Going back to the Micro Galaxian, I was asked if it comes with a wireless remote, and I was asked if you buy two or three of these and you use the remote. Will it operate all three units? Well, I found out it would not operate all three units. Apparently, they're all on the same, on a different uh, transmitting cycle or something like that. Well, T Man 51 found out otherwise. There's a little reset button on the side of it, and here's what he says: It's not in, it's not in the instructions, but you might think the remote don't work. All you have to do is stick a pen in the hole to reset the remote, and wait for a little light that goes on. After pressing the remote, I uh, hope it will help. All right. After you press the remote, it makes it where all, as many of these that you got, will respond to one remote. Thank you very much for Team Man 51. Very good. Uh, Dan Drews DJ says, Hey Mike, had you considered getting some Electra LED scanners from American DJ? Cheap and a great effect. Have I considered getting them? Hmm. No, but I will. Why not? Okay. PSC 57821 says, Dave, Dave, he, he <laughs> he's not just a pretty face. He can act, too. Interesting. Okay. That's from PSC 57821. Are you an actor, Dave? He's laughing. <laughs> okay. This is from New, and it looks like N-J-F-I-P-S-Q-D. Is this easy to clamp? Referring to the Chauvet Mini Moon. Ah, yes, the Mini Moon. Where's the Mini Moon? Do I have any Mini Moons here? Right over here. Follow me. Okay. <clears throat> mini Moon. I'm going to find the Mini Moon. Somewhere here. All right. Anyway, while I'm looking for the Mini Moon, here we go. Yes, the Mini Moon is very easy to clamp. Look at all this junk I have in the way here. The Mini Moon is very, very easy to clamp. It comes with a bracket that goes on the bottom side of it. And there's a hole, duh, where you put your clamp. So then, I had a clamp here somewhere. Doesn't matter. I, I'm sure most of you are familiar with clamps. You just put a clamp on the bracket, you put it up, no problem at all. Very good question, though. Uh, this is from A7X Marine 101. A7X Marine 101. I take it you're an X Marine. Regarding the Obey 40. Uh, no, not Obey. Not, not, not regarding the. He says Obey 40. Anyway. LED scan 100. Do you have any? Yeah, give me a call. I'll sell you one. And because you asked, I'll give you a discount. Why not? And I can't even get through these. Hang on. These are all stuck together. Somebody put some... Dave, put some glue on these things. Okay. This is from Ricky. 93033 says, waiting on the LX15. Here it is. I'll do a video on this next week. I call this... <laughs> I call this the dizzy machine because it spins so fast. Let's see if you can get this up here. It's really a pretty cool uh, light, especially because it's only it's real cheap, way under hundred dollars. Let me get it. The, it's sound active only, and it changes colors. Let me get the microphone here. If you, I'm gonna smack this microphone until it does something. Come on, hello, hello. There we go. But it goes so fast. Look at that thing. That would make me dizzy. I call that this, the Dizzy LX15. I'll do a video on that next week. Thank you, AZ Marine 101. And finally, this is from Johnny. Oh, <laughs> Johnny Sass. I thought it said something else. Okay, Johnny Sass says, uh, "This is Johnny. Well, hi, Johnny. I just watched your vid on the Eliminator EX4, and he has a couple questions. Does this light have a duty cycle? Yes." The EX4, which I don't have any out here right now, it's the old school light. The X4 has a halogen bulb. Anything with a halogen bulb has a duty cycle. Technically, 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off. Then he's telling me that he had some of these old school halogen bulbs left him on for the whole party without a problem. You will have a problem in time. Not only will you burn out some light bulbs, but if you leave it on long periods of time, any halogen light, especially if it has a motor, if you leave it out for any length of time, continuously, it's going to burn out the motor, too. So be careful of that. But, yeah, Johnny Sass, uh, the EX4 does have a uh, duty cycle. The, the, not the comment contest, the video contest 
your deadline is at the end of next week. We've been getting a lot of videos in, and check them out. It's under that uh, the video contest, win, win, win video. It's like 15 videos down on the page, something like that. Check them out. Get your video in because the the cutoff, I believe, is next Thursday or Friday, and then after that, you can't submit any more videos. And to re refresh your memory on all the details of it, because I forgot all the details of it, just refer back to that video, watch the video, and it'll tell you about everything, uh, everything about it. Uh, and that's about it for today. And hey, thanks for all your comments and all your suggestions and all your questions. And I'll try to keep up on your and the answers for you. Thanks a lot. Oh, and don't don't buy meat from coolers. It's crazy.